Hey everyone, what's going on? Joey Contino here, and man, the Wildwood Boardwalk Reconstruction Project is moving very quickly, and they're doing such a great job, Fred and his team. I figure let's go ahead and give you a full recap because each section that is being done is being done just a little bit different, and we've had so many questions in the last video. So before we get started, make sure you subscribe, you turn on notifications, and you give this video a thumbs up. A special thank you to our patrons on patreon.com. It's because of them that make these videos even possible. If you want to support this channel and have your name at the end of the video, all you have to do is click the links in the description below. Anyway, let's get started. Unlike phases one and two, these phases three, four, and five, they're all just a little bit different. On the far end, past Skellinger Avenue, that section right there is being done exactly the same like this one right here. This was actually phase one. Phase two was all the way down to 26th Street. And of course, you've got three, four, and five, which is to the southern side of the boardwalk. And so past Skellinger, they can do the other projects exactly like this, and that's what they're doing. But when it comes to those other sections, that's where you start running into a little bit of a change. If you remember, other sections of the boardwalk were fixed not too long ago, back in 2006 through 2009, like right over here in front of Skellinger, in front of Maury's Manor's Pier. And this was a newer part of the boardwalk, which was made from wood pilings instead of concrete. Because of that, this system is different. And this top layer is newer and doesn't really need to be replaced, but the wood underneath of it, that needs some special attention. So Fred's crews, what they're doing is they rip off the first layer, which they are saving, they put it off to the side, which you can actually see over here, a pile of it. They look at that top layer and they see whether or not that needs to be fixed, replaced or whatever. They fix it, then they put new wood in areas that are completely rotted, which you can see them cutting wood on the other ends. If you zoom in, you can see one of the sections are actually working on today. They'll put the new wood on top of it, on like this beam. Then they'll cover it in this black, I think this is more or less a tar in a way, before then covering it right back over. It doesn't look like it from here, but that other section on the other side of the boardwalk is actually done. They already did this over there. And if you go back to our video from about a month ago, you'll see that side was ripped up. So now that side's fixed and now this side is ripped up. Pretty here you can see what I'm talking about. That is wood, that is not concrete. And the pillars here are also made of wood, not concrete. When it comes to Cedar Avenue, a different phase of the boardwalk, this is also very different than the other ones because there was no concrete piling down here and they didn't fix this section when they fixed the other section. So that meant they had to replace the wood pilings and the wood. So they removed the entire thing. Take a look. As you can tell, all three sections are very different. And I guess maybe the best way to understand it is by getting the seagull in the sky to give you guys a bird's point of view of what it looks like. So let's get that bird in the sky.
there you guys go. Let me know what you think in the comment section below. Fred and his team, they're doing such a great job and they're moving very quickly. So they'll be done before summer. So don't worry, a lot of people send me messages. Are they gonna be done? They will be done. Anyway, if you haven't done so yet, please subscribe, turn on notifications and give this video a thumbs up. I'm Joey, as always, I'll see you on the beach. It's right over here, so I'll see you later. Bye.